a lot of us from MSU or with history at MSU have emotional attachment to places that where we have been on campus. And those places usually include trees and vegetation. There's over 7,500 different plant species. That includes other plants besides just trees. We estimate there's over 30,000 trees in our database system that uh, we maintain. When trees have to be taken down for whatever reason, it could be that there are disease, there are safety concerns, or there's a new building going in, those trees will either be converted into chips and used, used for mulching, or, or basically be made into a big pile and burn, burn at the power plant. And both of those uh, end uses are fairly low value and don't retain carbon for the long term and don't take carbon out of the atmosphere. And we are suggesting an alternative approach where at least most of that biomass is converted into products and wood products, solid wood products are long-term use. Just imagine a nice cabinet that you have into your house has been sitting there for 20 years or 30 years. Sometimes it goes from one generation to the next. The forestry department is, um, is at the center of this program and we are very excited about this because not only we get to work with people taking these trees down that have to go out, but uh, we, we are able to develop this sustainable approach where the wood from these trees is, is being converted into products. This is really a tremendous opportunity for, for forestry students to get direct exposure uh, to sustainability. But uh, another good aspect of this program is that we are anticipating that all the revenue generated will go back into funding tree planting programs so that we can have even a greener, a greener campus. Aspects of the program will also be supported by the profits where this will go back into the, the wood science educational aspects of the forestry program and create more opportunities for students. Before you even take a tree down, we'll look at the tree and make determine um, what's the best use for this wood, and so we get the best use out of it. It's re really amazing the all the different products you can get from this individual tree. Every piece of wood looks different. Um, sometimes they have character marks or what other people would consider flaws that you can turn into something beautiful. We've we've kept cracks in some of the tables that were cool and we've closed them with um, Dutchman butterflies. We kept tap holes in some of the maple um, maple tables and filled those so that the tap holes are right in the tabletops. I'm going to think back on you know, me getting a degree and if I'm, I'm going to frame this. Why put it in a frame that has no context to the diploma? You spent all this uh, time and all kinds of money. Why not have it be in the wood that came off the same campus that you spent you know, two years, four years, six years, nine years, whatever the case may be? To, to hear the stories about the trees and where they came from and how long they were on campus makes designing the piece and building the piece of furniture so much more special. And that, that personal attachment really brings great value and meaning to, uh, to the people who would purchase these products. By doing this, not only we are tying in the memory that people have of these trees from, from the, the, the campus experience with them, but at the same time, we are actually storing carbon long term instead of allowing that biomass to burn.